Hi, and welcome to my character creation series where I'm doing every race and every appearance option. This one we're going to take a look at the male Elizin, starting with the Wildwood here in this video. As far as the height goes, you can go down to 76.4, up to 82.6. Bit of a range there. We've got the skin color very similar to some of the other races. You've got some very... Oh, let's zoom in a little here. You've got some very white across the top to a nice black. Down the side, it'll end up fading into a brown. Oops, sorry. And then across the bottom, lighten up again. So, again, quite the range. Some redders, some lights, somewhere in the middle there. With the hairstyles here, um, we've got this one to start with, hanging down over either side. A little bit shorter. The next one here is going to have kind of a fun ponytail to it. Next one then, normal ponytail, little hair hanging in the face. Just brush it back. Spiked up. Shorter style. And we got another high ponytail there. Kind of a spiked up, but combed back. Just a straight and slicked back there. Shorter cut, and then some braids going to the back here. With the hair color, you've got a couple of different options here. And you can also choose highlights, so it gives you a chance to kind of see. This one is just kind of the tips and a little bits of the braid that you can see there. You've got your variety of colors on here to go through and you can choose the highlights or not here, so go ahead and do the white hair. With the face, please check out my uh, video on the Elizin facial features to see how this face actually will also change uh, your facial features later on. Um, for this one, this is what we're going to start out with though with this particular face. This is probably one of the most drastic changes that we've got between the types of face there. And then we go back to a softer, very round, almost young looking face there. And then the last one's again a little bit harsher features, not quite so bad as the other one there. And that was your original, so. Bit of a variety there. With the jaw, the first one is going to go ahead and kind of stick out the bottom part, almost make it a light square for the jaw. Type 3 is going to extend it out a bit longer. And then type 4 is going to round it out still, still keeping that square kind of look in that case. Eye shape here, starting with type 1, type 2 is going to extend it kind of out a little bit longer. Type 3, pull it back in just a little bit on there. Type 4, round them out. Type 5, very narrow, make them a little bit of a, just a slit of an eye. And then type 6, bring that down. Very difficult to see the actual iris in that one, or at least the bottom part. You can do a large or do a smaller version. There's a little difference there you can see. With the eye color, you can go ahead and do odd eyes, so two different colors if you'd like. Or you can just do them the same. Again, you've got your normal variety of a bunch of different colors on here. For the eyebrows, this is the first one. Second one's going to flatten them out a little bit. Type 3 is going to raise them back up again, steeper angle than 1. Type 4 flattens it out a bit, but the difference between 4 and 2 is going to be um, how long and how stretched out they actually are. 4 is even a little bit flatter, it seems. Um, type 5 then raises them up very high. Same thing, difference between that and 3 is just how thick or wide they are. And then type 6, flatten out again, but a little bit lower this time than type 4. So, very slight varieties for the eye bows for the male Ellis and Wildwood. As far as the nose goes, this is going to be your first one. Second one is going to kind of expand it out, make it a little bit more rounded there at the end. Type 3 is going to point it. 
type 4, fairly standard, a little bit smaller nose. 5, expand it out, just make the whole thing a little bit bigger. And type 6, very small, skinny nose. With your mouth, this is going to be type 1. Type 2 is going to make the lips a little bit more plump. Type 3 is going to bring the mouth in a little bit. And then type 4 thins it, keeping it that smaller mouth there. So a couple options on that one. With the lip color, you do have a smaller swatch of actual colors. You can do none, you can do light, or you can do dark. Uh, let's do it with the color you can see a little bit better. There's the dark, there's the light, and there's nothing. So it gives you a couple of options, depending on what color you actually want to show on there. A couple of varieties. As far as the ear shape, um, you can, this is actually type 3, what it defaults here. Type 4 is going to be very flat, tall ears. Type 1 is going to be long, sticking out. And type 2 is more flat, pointed as they go across instead of pointed up. With all of these ears, you do have the option to extend them out, longer or shorter there. With the type 4, where they're flat to the head, that's just going to make them go out as well. Not quite as drastic since they're already smaller and tighter to the head to begin with, so they don't stick out nearly as much. You do have the option for ear clasps. This stays the same regardless of what face you choose. They will always be the same here, and you have the option to change the color that you want on those. These facial features, again, check out the video for the Elizin facial features um, because they will change depending on the face that you actually selected earlier. And this is for this one, we've got a goatee, some sideburns, a couple of scars on the face there. Again, those will all be different depending on what you select earlier. With the face paint here, you've got some eyeshadow. You can do over the inner part of the eye outer part of the eye. Got some blush, some dots, and then you've got some feature features on the side of the face. You can reverse it and it'll switch the side. So we've got a dragon there, we've got some wings, we've got a heart, let's do this, we've got a heart, we've got a butterfly, stars, and flower. We've got the little chick coming out of the egg the cat whiskers then on the whole face. We've got dots on the forehead. Fun design there. Full face ones you can still reverse. We'll just change the direction. Symmetric over the eyes. An X. Some war paint. Some more war paint. Cross the eyes out. Half and half. Or the whole face. You do have an option with these. Different colors as well. You can also choose, if you don't want it quite to be that dark, you can do a lighter color, so it makes just a little less of an imprint on the face, more of a shading there. Last one then we have is the voice, and it gives you a couple of different um, varieties of emotes to be able to hear the voice. First one we have, be upset, a cheer. <laughs> laugh, <laughs> approval, and disapproval. Those are all fairly short, but this one <laughs> is normally the one I use to um, be able to tell probably the best of how the voice actually sounds, so we'll go through these with the uh, excited. So this is type 1 again. <laughs> type 2. <laughs> type 3. <laughs> type 4. Ha <laughs> ha! Type 5. Ha ha! Type 6. Yeah! Type 7. Ha! Type 8. Yeah! Type 9. Yeah! Type 10. Whoa! Whoa! Type 11. Whoa! And type 12. Huh? And that's going to be your male Elizin Wildwood clan. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, want to see anything in a little bit more detail, and I'll make sure it makes its way into the next video. Thanks for watching.